Right, konnichiwa and thanks for joining us. It's day 11 of the May tournament. The winner of the last two tournaments, Xeno Sato, has withdrawn from the competition due to his left pectoral and biceps injury. He injured his left upper body toward the end of the last contest in March and could not fully recover. He is out of the tournament. Yokozuna Xeno Sato, now the leaders after 10 days. Haruma Fuji and Hakuho, the two. Yokozuna are the undefeated co-leaders. Teruno Fuji, Takayasu, Shodai, Tochi no Shin, and Ura follow with two losses each. I promise you for another exciting day of sumo, so stay with us for the entire show. We start with a battle between two Rikishi who made their professional debut same time in January of 2013. Here's Onosho, he is 6 and 4 after 10 days. He faces off Ishiura, who's at 5-5. Five and five. Yes. Ishiura comes in hard. He attacks from a lower angle. Onosho responds with thrusts, and he sends Ishiura to the deck. Ishiura falls to 5-6. and six. Onosho, that's his seventh win. Onosho wanted to gain an inside position, but Ishiura moves quickly and attacks. Onosho thrusts and sits up for the slap down, and he does it nicely. It is Tochinoshi in 8 and 2, facing off Toku Shoryu 7 and 3. The Georgian Tochinoshi says his lower body is in much better shape this time, and it is reflecting in his decent record. Tok Shoryu is just a win shy from making his third consecutive Kachikoshi or majority of wins. <laughs> Tok Shoryu launches, but Tochinoshin catches him with his favorite right hand inside and left and outside position. Tochinoshin now has Tok Shoryu exactly where he wants. He marches and wins. That's Tochinoshin's fifth straight win. Tok Shoryu 7 and 4. Tochinoshi moves up to 9 and 2. And he stays in contention. Tok Shoryu wanted to put Tochinoshi away with a fast attack. But Tochinoshi quickly recovered and stopped Tok Shoryu's charge. Tochinoshi making sure his grip is tight and secure before he starts his final drive. Tochinoshin overwhelms Tokushoryu to force him out. Yorikiri. Now this is Chio Taidu against the Taka Keisho. With seven wins, one more win for Taka Keisho will give him yet another Kachikoshi. The former Komusubi Chio Taidu is hoping to haul in his first top division Kachikoshi since January of last year. Takakesho comes in low and hard and he keeps up the attack. Takakesho moves Chiotairyu back and out. Takakesho gets his Kachikoshi. Chiotairyu now 6 and 5. Takakesho 8 wins. Takakesho gets his win number eight by winning four straight days. He leads in with his right shoulder. He knocks Chiotairyu back. Chiotairyu attempts a slap down a couple of times, which is a sign that Takakesho's thrusting attack is putting pressure on Chiotairyu. From start to finish, Takakesho keeps plowing ahead. And since his Forward pressure is too much for Chiotairu to handle. Chiotairu attempts a slap down, but it doesn't work. Takakesho gets the W by Oshidashi front of push out. Youth is my strength. I'll do what I have to do to win each day and win every match. It's Hokuto Fuji versus Daisho Maru. 
Okto Fuji is one of the fiercest attackers today. He will find no mercy in his attack. Daisho Maru received a warning yesterday for not properly touching the ground with both fists before starting the match. Daisho Maru comes in low, but Hokuto Fuji shoves him back. Hokuto Fuji doesn't stop and takes Daisho Maru out. Hokuto Fuji scores his eighth win, and that's his Kachikoshi. Third straight loss for Daisho Maru, six and five. Once again, Hokuto Fuji, eight wins and three losses. Not a bad Tatcha initial charge by Daisho Maru, but Hokuto Fuji shows a quick recovery, good arm extension, and good follow through and good finish. I hit my opponent hard and followed through with my hands and legs nicely. That's why I think I succeeded. It is Koto Yuki versus Ikioi. Koto Yuki 4 and 6, Ikioi 7 and 3. So with seven wins, Ikioi can secure a much coveted Kachikoshi with a win here. Koto Yuki rejoined the competition yesterday after sitting out on day nine. Koto Yuki charges, but Ikioi shifts away and follows up with a pushing attack, and he takes the match. Koto Yuki is slow to get up. Did he aggravate his left knee or did he injure his other knee? Either way, Koto Yuki cannot get up on his own power. And Ikioi wins and he gets his Kachikoshi. Ikioi shifts to his right and he loses Koto Yuki's charge and it also allowed him to get into a good position for the shove out. Uh, it feels good to secure my Kachi Koshi. How do you feel about the quality of your sumo? I'm moving well even when I'm losing, so I think things are just fine this time. Next up, it's Takekaze 3 and 7 against Arawashi. Also, 3 wins and 7 losses. Takekaze is still recuperating from a right elbow injury he had after the last tournament. Arawashi is a tricky customer. He attacks with so many different weapons. Arawashi dances to the side and Takekaze goes down. Arawashi trips Takekaze and the match is over in a blink of an eye. Third straight wins for Arawashi. And Arawashi is now 4 and 7. Arawashi had this all planned out. The Mongolian jumps to his right and at the same time sweeps Takekaze's leg. Ketaguri pulling inside ankle sweep. It's Uda 8 and 2 versus Shodai also 8 and 2. The championship race elimination match. Shodai better be ready to keep up with Uda's tremendous speed and mobility. Uda scored his Kachikoshi and his 100th career win yesterday. Uda comes in low. Shodai wants to gain an inside position. Shodai launches, but Uda reverses the field and it pushes him out from the rear. Uda is the victor. He wins for the sixth straight day. Shodai goes down to eight and three. Uda advances to nine and two and stays in the championship race. Uda goes underneath like usual. Shodai tries to seize an inside position. A strong Otsuke pushing attack by Uda. Shodai charges, but Uda yanks his arm and goes around and behind him and takes him out. Once again, ducking underneath is Uda. Shodai hoping to raise Uda's center gravity. And Shodai charges. Uda pulls Shodai's left arm and goes right behind his opponent and wins by Okuridashi rear push-out. Nine and two.
It is Takanoiwa against Kagayaki. Takanoiwa fights with more intensity and toughness these days. Nobody can take him lightly. It looks like Kagayaki is improving every tournament. His pushing attack is very hard to defend. Kagayaki pounds away and charges. Takanoya backpedals and Kagayaki finishes off by pinning him down. Third straight loss for Takanoiwa. Five and six. Kagayaki, in the meantime, goes to seven and four. Another impressive win for Kagayaki. Kagayaki attacks with nice arm extensions. Takanoiwa is having a hard time stopping Kagayaki. And look at the Hazu Oshi or push on the armpit by Kagayaki, and he doesn't allow Takanoiwa to escape. Endo versus Yoshikaze. Endo 3 and 7. Yoshikaze even at 5 and 5. Endo has beaten a few top dogs this time, namely one Yokozuna and two Ozeki. Yoshikaze's speed is second to none. It's his lethal weapon. Yoshikaze marches. Endo recovers. Yoshikaze attacks. Endo responds. Yoshikaze goes after Endo fiercely, but cannot finish him off. Endo keeping up with Yoshikaze's moves. Now Endo gets an inside position with his left hand, and he goes forward and beats Yoshikaze. A Yoriki frontal force out win for Endo. He gets his win number four, Yoshikaze five and six. Yoshikaze moves Endo back and attempts a slap down, but it doesn't work. Endo gets a left hand inside grip and he feels more comfortable now. Yoshikaze attacks. He gets the grip. Can't finish Endo off. Endo resisting hard. Now Endo goes forward. Yoshikaze circles away. Once again, tries to force Endo back and out, but Endo resists. What a perseverance shown by Endo. Yorikiri win. Koto Shogiku, three and seven against Chiono Kuni, two and eight. Koto Shogiku crushed his longtime rival, Xeno Sato, yesterday. Shonokuni is facing a major denial this contest. He has only two wins. Koto Shogiku with a bull rush. He plows ahead and gets the job done. A picture perfect sumo by the Sekiwake. Koto Shogiku now four and seven. Shonokuni two and nine. And that's Koto Shogiku's third straight win. Koto Shogiku immediately gets a deep left hand upper body grip and he decides to go in for the kill right away. Koto Shogiku stays tight. And there is nothing Chionokuni can do to stop the charge. Koto Shogiku all over Chionokuni. Next up, it is Tochi Ozan, 5-5, five five, facing off Takayasu, 8-2. Takayasu is competing in his 800th career match today. He has to forget about his loss to Hakuho yesterday and rebound. A milestone match for Tochi Ozan today. It is Tochi Ozan's 1,000th career match. Takayasu takes the charge. He pushes Tocho Ozan back, and he hits the slapdown, and it works. 
So Takayasu bounces back with a victory after losing to Hakuho on day 10. Takayasu goes to 9 and 2. He remains with only two losses. Coach Ozan's game plan was to get a Morozashi double inside grip, but Takayasu completely blocks Tocho Ozan's intentions. The Ozeki wannabe moves forward by applying the pressure and sends Tocho Ozan to the clay by hitting the slap down. Takes the charge, moves forward, and hits the slap down. Nicely timed technique. It's Teru no Fuji against Aoyama. Teru no Fuji with eight wins, Aoyama with only two wins. Teru no Fuji enters day 11 with eight consecutive wins. Aoyama must use his long reach to keep the separation and fight with his fierce thrusting attack if he wants to get by Teru no Fuji. Here they go. Teru no Fuji wants to catch Aoyama. The Bulgarian refuses to go chest to chest. Teru no Fuji stops Aoyama's momentum by seizing a right hand shallow grip. Now he has a left hand grip as well. It's power versus power. Teru no Fuji hopes to take Aoyama back, but Aoyama holds his ground. Right hand inside, left hand outside by Telnofuji. This should favor the Mongolian Ozeki. Aoyama hopes to switch his grip, but Telnofuji hits the throw and buries Aoyama. Aoyama went for the Makikai, the changing of the grip, and that's when Telnofuji decided to go in for the kill. That's Nine consecutive wins for Teru no Fuji. Nine and two. Teru no Fuji had to work very hard for his ninth win today. In other words, Aoyama put up, put up an impressive fight for a guy who's only scored two wins so far. Teru no Fuji's key to victory is his ability to fight off Aoyama's pushing attack and getting a shallow grip without panicking. Teru no Fuji improves his position by getting both of his hands on the Bulgarian. Teru no Fuji keeps applying the pressure. Aoyama tries to shake off Teru no Fuji's left hand grip, but Teru no Fuji doesn't let go. When Aoyama makes his next move after a stalemate, that's when Teru no Fuji decided to pull off the Watenage overarm throw. Here he goes. As I told you at the beginning of the broadcast, Kiseno Sato has withdrawn from the competition due to his left upper body injury. So Kiseno Sato is now sidelined from the competition. Let's hope that he recovers and uh, will see him in action in July. In the meantime, Kiseno Sato's day 11 opponent Tamawashi will score a forfeit win and this will give him a Kachikoshi more wins than losses. Tamawashi goes to 8 and 3. Now it is Goedo facing off undefeated Hakuho. Goedo 6 wins. Hakuho with a perfect record of 10 wins. Hakuho looks totally focused. He's a hard man to stop when the Empress Cup starts to sailing into his view. Goedo must take the initiative, move faster, and effectively attack Hakuho. A face slap by the Yokozuna. He's already in charge now with his favorite grip. Hakuho patiently waits for his opportunity. Hakuho brings Goedo down. 11 straight wins for Hakuho. Goedo now 6 and 5.
A right hand slap by Hakuho, and he catches Goedo immediately. Hakuho bites at his best when he gets himself in this position. Nigi to the right hand inside and left hand outside. Goedo tries to shake off the grip, but Hakuho shuts him down. Hakuho wisely and skillfully twists Goedo down to the clay. Again, from the start, Hakuho takes the advantage. Look at the strong grip. And Hakuho waits patiently for his opportunity and he hits the Watehineri twisting overarm throw. Now the Yokozuna Haruma Fuji's turn to deliver. He is 10 and all against Mitakeumi 4 and 6. For the first time in more than three years, Haruma Fuji is unblemished after 10 days. Mitakeumi beat Haruma Fuji in January. The Komusubi is hoping to repeat the feat. Mitakeumi gets a double inside grip and attacks. Haruma Fuji tries to recover, but the Yokozuna's left foot goes out. Mitakeumi scores a huge upset and hands Haruma Fuji his first loss of the competition. Haruma Fuji now 10 and 1. Mitakeumi 5 and 6. He was all attack, attack, attack by Mitakeumi. Mitakeumi blasts Haruma Fuji back and he goes after the Yokozuna without any kind of hesitation. Mitakeumi is relentless and Haruma Fuji's left foot clearly goes out. Yorikiri frontal force out. Again, Mitakeumi keeping up the pressure and Haruma Fuji steps out. So that'll do it for day 11 of the May tournament.